Hey kiddos, welcome to this week's assignment where we are looking at polygons. Now we've talked about this, but polygons, irregular polygons, it can be a little bit tricky because just because it's a shape does not make it a polygon. So as a refresher, polygons have to be closed shapes. They have to have line segments only and um, they have to have at least three sides. So here we go. Is this a polygon? Yes, it is closed. It has line segments only, and it has more than three sides. Is this? No, this is a plane shape. It has curved paths, so this is not a polygon. Is this a polygon? Yes. Is this a polygon? No. Is it a shape? Yes. Is it a plane shape? Yes. But is it a polygon? No, because it has curved paths. This one is a polygon, and this one is a polygon. Questions on these? Bring them with you to class. All right, looking at parallel lines of our polygons. Remember, parallel lines have to be a pair of lines that continue without um, touching. So if we look at this one, this shape is going to have three pairs. We have one. Let me change my colors. We have two. And we have three. Three pairs of parallel lines. This one, zero. These would all intersect. This one has one pair. Sides would intersect. This one has two pairs, top and top, side and side. Down here, two pairs, top and top, side and side. Here, none because of the slants. None of these are going to be parallel. Questions? Bring them to class. All right, regular versus irregular. For a regular polygon, all of our sides have to be equal. So you can be a polygon, but be a regular if you have sides that are not equal. So this one is irregular. The side lengths are different. This one is regular. The side lengths are the same. Irregular, sides are different. Irregular, short, short, long, long. This one, definitely irregular. And this cute little square is a regular. Questions? Bring them to class. All right, this time we're looking at the angles. We're describing them as a cute little grandma pinching our cheeks, an obtuse vacation for one, or the right way to sit at the dinner table. All of these angles are acute. All of these angles are right. Remember to be a square or rectangle, you have to have four right angles. These angles are obtuse. These angles are right. These angles are right. And these angles are obtuse. Questions, bring them to class. All right, the moment you've been waiting for, now you get to name that polygon. So just as a quick refresher, the one that gets the most easily flip-flopped is the parallelogram and the rhombus. Now, a parallelogram can be a rhombus as well, but we have to be careful. For a parallelogram, the sides do not have to be equal length. For a rhombus, they do. A rhombus is a lazy square. So for this one, all four sides are the same, so we can call this a rhombus. You could also call it a parallelogram. Either would be fine. This friend over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm a hexagon. Over here, one, two, three, four, five. I'm a penta. Penta means five. I'm a pentagon. This one we all know is a triangle. Trapezoid, the only one that only has one pair of parallel sides. And an octagon. All right, nuggets, questions, bring them to class. Have a good one.